ければ受け止まり。Hey guys, Kim and Annabelle here. And today we're just gonna do a day in the life, show you some of what we eat, some of what we do. It's probably not gonna be that exciting, just a typical day in the life of Kim and Annabelle. So, I got back from my morning swim. This little one is hanging out with no pants on because look at those adorable chubby legs. Huh, you'd be proud of those legs. <laughs> and we are just having a little bit of playtime. And then we'll go get some food. But I wanted to talk about a couple things super duper quick. First of all, the fact that I am going to the Arnold and I am so, so, so excited. Unfortunately, this little bug is not going to be going. She will be staying with Grandma, Grandpa, but I just think she's a little bit too young, too crowded, and she'd probably just be miserable and <laughs> honestly make us miserable. So maybe next year, but this year she will not be there. But Jim and I will be there, and I will actually be working at the Crazy Richards booth, which is peanut butter, for those of you that don't know. And I will be there on Sunday from 10 to 2. So definitely come find me, come get some peanut butter. And I'm just really excited that I have a place where I can tell people I'll be to try to meet as many of you as possible. There's so many people I want to meet. And if you see me and Jim just walking around, please come up and say hi. I really want to meet and talk to as many people as I can. So really, really looking forward to it. I did kind of want to work at the Quest booth this year, but apparently they didn't need me or want me to work there. So, oh well, that's okay. I still love you, Quest. But um, I am excited that I'll be working with Crazy Richards. So that is thing number one. Thing number two is that I just gave my two weeks at Starbucks. Yes, I am quitting Starbucks uh, for multiple reasons. One of which is that I got another job opportunity that might be short term, but it pays a lot better. I can do it from home and it's with social media. So something that I'm, you know, more passionate about. And I just, I had to work every weekend at Starbucks and I felt like I was missing out on family time and other things. And it's just not worth it for coffee. So after we get back from the Arnold, I will not be working there anymore and I will have to start paying for coffee again, but that is okay. Uh, and last thing is that I have jumped on the Snapchat bandwagon. So it seems like everybody's doing it. So I went ahead and I got me a Snapchat and my name is just Kim Helchi. So find me, follow me. So far I've just been posting pictures of snacks but I think it's a fun way, you know, I don't have to worry about editing pictures or typing up a caption. I can just snap a picture, post it, you can see it. So you can expect lots of food pictures and probably lots of pictures of this crazy little thing. Maybe some little video clips, but I don't know. I think it'll be fun. So go ahead and follow me. I'm still just a blank ghost. So I guess I have to take some selfies today. I'm not very good at <laughs> taking selfies, but me and Annabelle will play around with that. And that is that. That is a nice three minute long intro. So now we're gonna go downstairs and get her something to eat and get me something to eat. So first thing I'm gonna have to eat are my pumpkin oat bran pancakes. I know they don't look that great, but it's hard to make anything made with pumpkin really look that pretty. But it's literally just pumpkin, oat bran, egg, milk, baking powder, cinnamon and then I added some blueberries just cook it up make pancakes the recipe is on my Instagram I've made it multiple multiple times you can add protein powder you can add different fruit I love them so I'll show you those when they're done and then I'm also drinking my greens like I do every single morning people always ask me if this tastes good yes it tastes delicious I actually just mix it with water and look forward to drinking it so I'm gonna sip on this while I finish making these so there is the finished product I always make my pancakes really little because then you get a nice tall stack, which is perfect for the picture that I was taking. So we have the light set up because the lighting outside really sucks today, but I'm going to get a fun picture, top them off with some sugar-free syrup, and then I will enjoy them. All right, so me and Annabelle have both had breakfast. We are now just downstairs playing. Pretty much our life is just Eat, play, sleep, eat, play, sleep, eat, sleep. <laughs> and that's kind of how the day goes, right Annabelle? 
Yeah, we do lots of eating, playing, and sleeping. So, speaking of eating, that breakfast was very good, but wasn't really that much to eat. So I got these bars in the mail. I forget if someone contacted me through Instagram or YouTube or I don't even know. I get sent a lot of stuff to try. But these are little bars from Trib, Tribe, Tribe Endurance, Moringa Bar. I have no idea. Made with, made with Moringa Leaf. I have no idea what that is. Uh, I have never heard of such a thing. But they feel like a little, kind of a small bar. Each one is 200 calories, 13 fat, 19 carb, only three grams of protein. I was hoping it was gonna be more protein because my breakfast didn't really have any protein in it. But, all right, we're gonna give it a try anyways. So there's cashew, cinnamon, raisin, and almond, coconut, chocolate fudge. That's just like a lot going on in one bar. Almond, coconut, chocolate fudge. I'm gonna try that one first. I'm not a huge coconut fan, but I do love chocolate fudge. So, oh, it just fell apart. So here is what it looks like. So I can't figure out how to get things to focus. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, it is not very big, especially for 200 calories. It smells very natural like it doesn't smell real sweet it smells kind of chocolatey it's very very soft mm. it's okay it's not really i was expecting more of like a chewy larabar larabar texture it's not chewy at all it kind of like melts in your mouth the flavor is okay there's like big pieces of nuts in there which i don't love but it's kind of almost a little bit too crumbly. So, eh, I'm probably not going to eat the rest of that. People are going to say that I take too small of bites of things and I'm just going to say, especially when I'm tasting something, I don't know if I'm gonna like it, so I don't wanna take a huge bite of something. And you can taste something just fine with a small bite. That's all I'm gonna say about that. So what is this? This is cashew cinnamon raisin. Once again, it is like completely just breaking apart. Very, very, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's just broken into like 50 pieces. And this one smells better. It smells very cinnamony. I like the flavor of this one a little bit better. Um, I can definitely taste the cinnamon, but it's just so crumbly like it just <laughs> breaks apart i feel like you can't eat it without making a mess so okay i am not not going to eat the rest of those i'm going to go find another snack so we decided to go a total different route with this snack i realized i will probably take a protein bar to work with me i do have to work later today so we're gonna have something different but this is the company I was saying I'm going to the Arnold with, Crazy Richards. They just make really good quality natural peanut butter. So they have like creamy, crunchy, I think they do almond and cashew. They do a powdered peanut butter and it's just really good. They don't do like crazy flavors, they just do good peanut butter. And I'm going to have, I have what, six little sandwiches on saltine crackers. I love saltine crackers. I ate them a lot when I was pregnant. I guess that's just a weird pregnancy thing, but I love them. And I'm going to have a bowl of carrots. These are steamed carrots, so they are slightly soft. And then I put sugar-free syrup on them. Again, if you haven't tried it, it's delicious. So this is what I do when Annabelle takes a nap. I take pictures for my blog. So I am doing a blog review on detour bars. So we have chocolate chip caramel, peanut butter cream, salted caramel cookie dough, and then these are the smart bars. So there's peanut butter chip, apple, and blueberry. Jim really likes these. I like them, I just don't love, love those ones. I really like the salted caramel cookie dough. And the only one that we have not tried yet is the peanut butter cream, but it looks and smells delicious. But we are saving that one for a tasting video that we're doing this weekend. So you can be sure to keep a lookout for that. But what I do is just cut up the bars, take pretty pictures of them, and then just 
basically snack on them all. So like I said, we're gonna save that one for this weekend, but I'll probably eat at least like the equivalent of one bar when I'm all done here. So I am officially addicted to Snapchat and I have Lizzie to thank for that. She messaged me on Facebook saying I should get it and I was like, no, no, I don't need another social media thing, but I love it, I'm addicted and I can't stop snapping videos of Annabelle and pictures of food. So you should definitely follow me, it is a fun time. But I need to get ready and go to work. I need to get Annabelle ready before I can go to work. But I figured I would show you what I am taking with me. So first of all, a Quest Bar. I pretty much always take a Quest Bar with me to work now because it fits perfectly in my apron and I can just break off little pieces and eat it throughout my shift. I'm also taking some banana bread muffins. These apparently have 276 calories in them. I don't know why I'm so exact with that, but I've said this before, I bake a lot of stuff and then I will freeze it and just put the calorie count on it. So then I at least know, you know, the calories of them, but it's just banana bread muffins. I forget what kind of protein I use, but definitely banana bread because I can smell banana. So I will eat those and then I'm going to take not this whole thing of raisins, that would be kind of awkward, but take like one or two servings in a little baggie because I can also fit that in my apron and just take little bites in between customers and that is fun. So I'm going to be late, which I guess isn't the worst thing because I am quitting, but I still like to be on time. Uh, when I come home, I think I'm gonna bring home a smoked butterscotch frappuccino for Jim and I to try. It's like the newest flavor and Everybody keeps ordering them, so I figured I should try one while it's free. So I just got home from work, and the baby was already asleep. So I didn't get to help put her to bed, and that makes me sad. She was asleep long before you got home from work. But I'll go up and give her gentle air kisses. If you wake her up, she's yours. Air kisses. <laughs> so, I did get the smoked butterscotch frappuccino, like I said, so we can try it. And I made it with love. It smells really good. It's kind of melty already. Mm. I like it. At first it tastes really good. Then you get it like smoky. It's very smoky. How do they do that? I don't like it. I would never spend $6 for that. Oh no. I wouldn't spend $6 for anything. I wouldn't, spend, I wouldn't spend a dollar for that. I don't like it at all. It's pretty good. It reminds me of a campfire. Disappointing Starbucks, but I did get myself one What do you call um Momento a memento so I can remember my Starbucks days And I got a bright red cup and I'm gonna use it like to drink my greens or make me drink more water because it's pretty and Last thing I need is more cups, but I just wanted <laughs> you're gonna drink more water because you have a pretty cup It helps because you're like oh I want to drink out of my pretty cup and take it everywhere with me So I got that and then I'm going to have for my fun extra snack of the day, this beautiful cookie that my mom made. And I had it in the freezer since Valentine's Day. And this morning I took it out and I said, I'm gonna eat it when I get home from work. And I am excited. So I'm going to eat my cookie, eat some other things too. Jim's gonna eat some things. Jim's gonna drink the yucky frappuccino. And then we're gonna go to bed. And maybe I'll do a vlog tomorrow too. I don't know, we'll see. But. That's going to be the end of it. Give the video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.